everybody, my name's Abby and I'm Mrs. Swayze's daughter. I'm a senior at Ole Miss and I'm the station manager for Newswatch Ole Miss, which is our all student run live daily newscast. My mom told me that y'all are working on a project that involves writing scripts, so I'm here to explain why that's important. So as you can see, I am in front of a computer and this is Rundown Creator. This is the program that we use to write our scripts for the show. So as you can see, these are all the stories for our show. And if I double click on a box, it'll pop up with this. This is our uh, script. This is where we text or we type all the words that our anchors read on air. Now, our anchors get in about two and a half hours before our show starts to write everything that you see right here. It's very important that they get in here this early because my anchors and my sports reporters have to write close to probably 10 stories maybe on a really busy day. I want to give you a quick tour of our studio and our control room. Right now I'm standing in the control room and in here we've got audio. So this is where everybody's mics plug in and this is how we can hear everybody. Right here, we've got the switcher. This is what switches our cameras and this is what I run during the show. So as you can see, all of my cameras are right here, all the views, and so if I want to have camera one in my preview, I put it up in my preview. And then this is what's live on TV. This is what y'all see. So if I wanna make sure that that gets on TV, all I hit is this cut button right here, and it cuts, as you can see, so they just switch. So all my buttons for all my cameras are right here. So it looks a little complicated, but I promise that it's not. And so then right here, we have comp, or the computer. This is all the video that you see on our show. So our video producer, Brian, who is actually holding the camera, you just can't see him, we produce all of the video that you see, and he's responsible for loading it into the timeline. So if I want to have comp pull up, so whatever is coming up out of here, I just cue comp, and then I hit cut, and that's what you see. So if you ever see somebody um, of importance, like somebody that they interviewed on TV, that's what that is. So follow me in, and we'll come into the studio real quick. Like that. So then this is our studio. Um, so, you know, this looks a little bit different than what you see on TV. Right over here, this is what we call set. This is where our sports anchors um, per, uh, show our <laughs> say their stories. This is where our news correspondents share their stories as well. So if you're ever watching the news and they cut to somebody live in the field, this is where they would be. And so over here we have the green screen for weather. So weather, what you, what the, my weather people see is the green screens and they use these two TVs to see the graphics that you see. So if you have something like a radar or temperatures or something like that, this is where it pops up. But it doesn't just pop up directly behind me. It's kind of like a little bit of magic. And then over here, this is our anchor desk. So this is where our two main people who present the news sit. Our anchor sits right here and our co-anchor sits right here. This chair right here is for weather. So when weather's done, they'll come over and kind of interact with our anchors a little bit. And then right here, we don't really use this chair a whole, whole lot just because we only have three cameras. But this is where my sports anchors sit at the very end of the show. Um, typically, if we run a little under, so if we end the show, my people are stopped talking at let's say with 30 seconds left, we use the camera. There's a hidden camera up there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what we call a bump shot. So it shows the whole studio and that's what we end the show with just to fill up a little bit of time so you can kind of see a behind the scenes look. Also to go back to your scripts, this is prompter. So if my anchor is sitting right here, this is how they can see what they're reading. It's like a little mirror. So everything, again, what my anchors read, even sports anchors and correspondents read, is all typed before the show. And again, we get into the studio about two and a half hours before the show. We go live at five every day, but if you're like me and you're in charge and you have to actually build the show, I'm here about noon every day. So I make the joke that I live here. But that's a quick tour of our studio. I hope y'all's projects goes well. And remember that it's very important to write your scripts beforehand because you don't want to get in front of the camera and ad lib. It typically doesn't go well for everybody. Good luck on your project.